So due to COVID-19, okay, a lot of these ordinance is a waiver. So right now what you see, no, I could come near my car, near my don't, kids. Don't no, I'm coming near my children because okay. they're under they're under the age 18. Okay. And as you can see, they're doing schoolwork. They have two laptops. All right. You're okay. So what I'm going to need you to do, because my car is registered, okay. it's insured, and if my children is at school right now and it's, it's not lunchtime, I'm going to need you to back up from my car because they're in the middle of doing schoolwork. It's always so clear when police officers have ego problems because, you know, whenever you're in a situation where maybe you're in the wrong or, you know, you had to respond to something or whatever and it wasn't quite what you maybe thought it was, you know, the reasonable thing to do, especially if you don't have ego issues, is you find out that it's all good. You back off. You say, oh, man, I'm sorry. We didn't know what was going on. This was a little much. You know, we apologize. I, you know, there's a very good chance that she would have calmed down, too, because there would have been just a human to human interaction. You know, man, we're just trying to do our jobs and, you know, we overreacted a little bit. You're right. You know, if things would end like that a lot of the time, then police officers wouldn't have such a bad rap. But no, 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 no. You saw towards the end, he went, you know, he tried to be calm, but then he told her to shut up because he had to have the last word. And it's already a lot of stress from the kids being, you know, how should I say this, at home during school and have to learn. So if they don't want to be in a congested ass hotel, because right now what you don't know, no, 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 you don't know, you don't get it. You don't get our circumstances. You don't get that for one. And you don't get two, but you see two black children in a car that's registered to me and they're under 18. So right now you don't have no right, I'm their attorney. And y'all have the audacity to come three men deep to two innocent children who's doing schoolwork. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm about to get my keys and I'm about to pull off. And you're not about to see no ID or nothing because you can see that. Right. You don't have to, what's understood don't have to be explained. He had to end up on the right foot. You know, he told her to hang tight because he was going to go check this and check that. Because even though the police were in the wrong, you know, they're the authority and so people have to respect that authority and that's why it's so important that we vet these people better you know it's not like this guy like shot at her or anything but again you're in a situation like that and these people want to stress you know stress their authority that really can end up being a problem i don't know if somebody called the cops or if they just happened to you know pull up and see that there were a couple of people in a car maybe they thought oh these two people are a little young to be in the car one cop car would have been sufficient. He could have pulled up and said, you know, hey, guys, what are you doing in here? You know, you saw that they were little kids they're on laptops. You know, they don't really look like they're big, bad and dangerous. He could have just came up and seen what was up. But oh, they're black. So, you know, they, they could be up to no good. They could have guns. They could have drugs. You know, you never know. So go ahead and call up the boys. Call two, three, you know, squad cars. Give me some backup because, you know, we, we may have to put a bullet in somebody here. Um, I mean, if, if that wasn't the fear in the back of your mind, then why did you pull up with three squad cars just for a couple of little boys who were sitting in a lot? You know, th that that's all that was going on. Hey, no, it is ignorant. Y'all see two kids doing homework. Thank you for calling me a name. You thing. said ignorance. There's two people in the car, right? There's two children. I don't know that until I get Back up. You told me to back up? Okay. You're too close to me, and I don't feel safe. Came up to my you, I came to my hey, car. Shut up. No, shut up. No, shut up. no I up. won't shut up. I don't have to shut up. Okay. You talk to me with some respect. I didn't curse at you. Okay. I didn't tell you to shut up. I didn't disrespect you. No, it's your time to go. Okay. It's your time to go. Okay. You know what? I don't know what, and I don't know why you're here. Okay. No, nah, I don't need to hang tight. I'm about to get my keys. You could tell the other two officers felt kind of, you know, dumb or felt like they just wanted to go and kind of move on with their day, um, you know, because they were quiet and they weren't saying anything because they realized, OK, it's just two little boys. And then, you know, when the mother came out and, and she told them what was up, you know, they, they saw like, ah, this is this is kind of messed up, you know. But the other guy, he again, he wanted to stress the authority. I know we're wrong. I know we shouldn't have done this. I know this may be a little a uh, little scary to these little boys and you. But uh, still, shut up. Listen to what I'm saying. You know, still take some responsibility here. And uh, yeah, but, you know, so luckily this didn't end up worse, but it still was uh, really annoying to watch. And again, it's it's really the problem with police officers having ego issues.